There we go. Fun and exciting. We are going landscape orientation today. Let's make sure we got a good setup here. All right. Welcome guys, I was just setting up uh, uh, this very complicated new maneuver of landscape orientation here. So I need to get my paints ready. Um, so I'm going to do that. We will be using white, blue, yellow, red, and just a smidgy smooch of black. Hello, hello, welcome. I'm just getting set up myself here with my paints. I've got um, my primary colors and black and white. I finally moved on to a clean paper plate because the other one was becoming heavy with dried acrylic paint. Um, so again, we're working with our primary colors. I've got blue, red, yellow, white. Hi, Ida, welcome, welcome. And we're just going to need a little smidgy smooch of black. That black that I have. Hi, Donna. Um, that black there uh, is more than enough that, than, I, than what we need for today. Um, I hope you guys can hear me because the, the phone is um, going uh, landscape mode. The, mic the microwave. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the microphone is pointed away from me. So um, I, hope, I hope you can hear me okay. Um, so those are our paint colors. Um, I thought this would be a super fun, happy, bright uh, painting to do. Um, I did this this morning and it was, it was raining this morning. So, you know, they say April showers bring May flowers. So um, that's, that's what we're doing here. And um, I actually saw something like this on... I just Google image search, uh, did a Google image search online, and there was something similar to this. I added these little daisies, and I think these are called Black Eyed Susans, and then I just can't help myself. I love adding a little bumblebee um, when I do flowers. All right, so that's, that's what we got going on for today. Um, I actually need to grab myself a canvas, first of all, so let me go do that. All right. So again, uh, welcome. I know we've got some familiar uh, veterans here today. If if you know anybody who can't join us, um, these videos do save on the Facebook page in the video section, and also I will add this to my YouTube playlist. Um, I've created um, a playlist on YouTube that that has all the videos that I've been uh, all the paintings I've been doing these past few weeks. So this one will be added there by the end of the day. So you can share that with anybody who's not on Facebook, for example. So let's see, what else can I tell you? We've got our paints. I've got my canvas ready. 
I've got my paper towel. Let me grab that so it's closer to me. Ooh. I got my paper towel, a cup of water, and I'm going to be working with, let's see, what am I working with? I got my, the usual suspects, my two large flat angled brushes. I am going to go to a smaller angled brush. And then I think, did I go to, I forget. Oh yeah, I went to my, my little liner brush for that little bumblebee for the lines, for the lines on him. Um, my little, little liner brush. And I think I, um, went to this little flat angle brush as well, but we use what we got. We're going to be doing some fine line work with the, with the grass, but it doesn't have to be super fine. Um, and that little bumblebee, I love that little bumblebee. That's going to be my favorite. Okay. So I think we're ready to rock and roll. Um, we're going to start by, um, putting in some white, um, in a circle wherever we want our sun to be. Now, when I did this painting, um, I was bummed that my sun wasn't higher. I, I should have put it higher. I wanted it to be higher because I feel like this is midday and the sun would be higher in the sky anyway. I feel like when the sun is that low, we should be sunsetting and have a pretty sunset. But so I'm going to put my sun a bit higher in the sky. We're just going to work on a white, a white smudge, a white blob so we can prepare that for the, the brightness of the sun. So I've got, got my big brush. Just going into a whole bunch of white paint. I'm not being shy. And I'm going to just paint a big old blob of white. I'm trying to get that higher than I did last time. Something like that. I want to get all that, that paint off. How big am I going? Oh, I don't know. Five, five inches across, six inches across. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want to be, we're putting the blob much bigger than what our sun will actually be, right? Okay, so this white blob is much bigger in diameter than what our sun will be. All right. If you guys are just joining us, thanks for being here. We're doing this Super bright, fun, wildflower painting with a little bumblebee. Um, this video is available on the video section of the Paint with Jackie Facebook page. And by the end of the day, I will add it to my YouTube playlist. And um, I can share that in the comments here when we're done with the painting. Okay, so I've got that white blob. Now I'm just going to grab a touch of blue. I'm just going to touch my brush into the blue. I don't need to wipe off my brush. Um, and I'm just going to go around the outside of my blob. So much larger than our sun will actually be. And I'm just going to start to blend. And as I blend, I'm going to move my brush closer and closer inward so I can start to find and create that circle for where the sun will be something like that and then i can just kind of play with moving back and forth hi mom <laughs> um my mom is she works from home so she, she's usually unable to join me for these things so um mom i don't know if you have any supplies i think i think you had some supplies left over from me when i was there Okay, so I'm moving in closer, kind of blending inward, and I'm closing up that gap. So I have this opening left over for our sun. And I'm going to leave that white for now. We're going to let that dry. Okay. And your, and your sky might be darker. I think I, I ended up getting a little darker in the finished product. Um, but now with the rest of that, um, well, not with the rest, I'm going to dip into some blue paint. Again, I don't need to wash my brush and I'm going to plan, plan ahead 
I'm not going to cover the whole canvas in blue. I'm going to plan ahead for where this line of grass is going to be. And I'm just going to do the sky there. Okay, so kind of, I'm going to put this here so I can have a guide. Um, and I'm kind of just going to put blue wherever I want this sky to be. So I, my grass is going to kind of come up through here and up through there. So that's kind of my guideline. And I'm just going to fill in with blue and white wherever I want this sky to be, leaving, leaving this section open for our grass. Now, if you're like me right here and your, your brush is getting dry or your canvas is getting dry and we're not spreading the paint around, that just means that we need more paint. So I can grab some white and kind of give that a nice base to work with. Grab a touch of blue. And I'm still kind of maintaining that, that circular pattern to, to go along with um, ciao Francesca, come stai? Um, just keeping that uh, pattern to kind of keep the brush strokes curving around that that sun. And you can have a light sky, you can have a dark blue sky. Um, this is your your little painting, and you can do whatever you want. Maybe you don't want these curved strokes. Maybe you want crisscrosses. Maybe you want something more back and forth, back and forth. It's totally up to you. And this, this line here doesn't have to be smooth or perfect because we're going to be covering up with grass anyway. Francesca, it's how long has it been since you were my student? I don't even want to count the years. <laughs> it was a long time ago, I think. Definitely more than 10. All right. I kind of am, I'm kind of going a bit more smooth on this one than in the original. I think in the original, I had a bit more of those textured strokes coming through. But it's kind of nice to kind of take a break, take it slow, and just have fun pushing paint around. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that's fun. I'm telling you, working on smoothing paint is some of my most favorite therapy. So apropos of nothing, I feel like many of us lately have been having a lot of strange dreams lately. I, I know I'm not alone. I've seen people post on Facebook. And I don't know about you, but I get like the teeth falling out dream a lot. Oh my gosh, I had the worst teeth falling out dream last night. Where they were, the, they were loose and they just, oh, they were just on the verge of falling out. Oh, it was terrible. All right, and then I wake up and I'm always so grateful to have teeth. Okay, so once we're done with our sky, um, I'm going to just wipe off the excess paint I've got on my brush. And I'm going to give that a nice, good, clean rinse. Because we're going to move on to um, a new color. And it wouldn't be, it's not bad that the, the blue is in the brush, but um, we want to take the white out. We want to be able to control what, um, the amount of white that goes in there. Hokey dokey. So yeah, I think I'm going to stick with my large flat brush here. I've got some water on my canvas. Gonna wipe that up. All right, so now I'm gonna start mixing um, a light green. And if we go back to the original here, 
Um, 11 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's a long time ago. Um, so if we look in the original painting here, um, I hope you can see kind of three different uh, layers of green, three different kinds of green. We've got like a light green, a medium green, and a dark green. Okay. And that's going to help give us some depth. It's going to help make it a little bit more interesting. It's going to help show that the sun is lightening up these grasses in the background. So I'm going to mix this first color here, um, the light, the light green. Okay. And that's going to be a lot of yellow and a little bit of blue. Okay. And maybe even a little bit of white, but I'm going to start with, um, lots of yellow on my brush. I'm going to grab a little smidgy smooch of blue. And, um, I think you'll find that when you put the color on the canvas, it's going to look darker than you expect. That's usually what happens to me. I mix a color in my plate and I put it on the canvas and I'm like, wow, that looks darker than I thought it would. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, so I might add just a little bit more yellow here and maybe even a little smidgy smooch of white. That white is going to help um, go over any of the sky. All right, let's see what happens when we do this. So this is what I've got to work with. And I'm going to start um, just kind of pulling up. Yeah, I think that works. I think that's a good light green. I'm going to start pulling up some some grasses just to kind of get an idea of where those guys are going to live. And then I'm going to um, start pulling down just some blocks of color. So not, not like specific blades of grass here. And I can kind of smudge into that sky. But I'm definitely going to need to make more of that color. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Get some of that yellow, smidgy smooch of blue, smidgy smooch of white. All right. And I'm just going to basically fill in this first layer of grass in the background here. Ooh, that's super yellow. Hmm. It's a bit more yellow than I had in the original, but that's okay. <laughs> so what's great about this is you can just keep playing with layers and layers of grasses here. I might want to Oh, hey, Michelle. Absolutely. Join us whenever you can. All right. I think, I don't know. I feel like that's really yellow. I mean, and it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's just not what I expected. So I'm going to try to go in some more with maybe more white and a touch more blue this time. See what happens. It's a bit darker, but I like it. I like it. All right. Something like that. So now I'm going to move to my Ooh, that didn't get clean really at all. I'm moving to my little, my smaller flat brush, and this is going to help me get um, really nice little blades of grass. So for this, for this part, what we're going to be, what I'm going to be working on are the, the blades of grass that are really light and bright and can, and can show up against the sky like this here. So I'm just going to go into this green I already have with my little brush, but I'm going to add just a touch more yellow. Really want that light and bright. 
Let's see if that does what I want it to do. Yeah, we're almost there. I might need to lighten that up just a little bit more to get what I want. Let's go in. Let's go in lots of yellow here. There we go. So lots of yellow to get it to show up on that blue. All right, I'm liking that. Feel better about that. Cool. <laughs> All right, I forgot about that. That was terrible. She's gonna have to teach me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I know, Cheryl, you I, you missed it. In the beginning, I said that the first, my old plate was just getting a little out of control. I'm a big fan of, of reduce, reuse, recycle, but it was time. It was time to get a new plate. All right, guys, so now we can move to our middle green, our middle green here. Yeah, okay, so that's just going to be more more blue in the mix right and not not probably not any white i don't think i'm gonna add any white did i add black to that oh i might have added a little smidgy just a smidgy smooch of black just the smidgiest all right so that should be our medium our medium green Again, I kind of start by, ooh, I like it. Um, I'm going to start by just kind of pulling up some really quick, sketchy little blades of grass, and then I can definitely need to make more of that green, um, but make more color and go back in just how we kind of filled in underneath with our light, light green here. Yeah, I do think I got a little smidgy. So what that little smidgy smooch of black will do is kind of tone it down. Like, calm down, green. You're, we don't want you to be too bright, okay? Um, if you don't want a bright green, that is, okay? Ooh, I like this one. I like it, I like it. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of fill in this middle layer. Again, it doesn't... I'm getting tangled in my wire here. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're, we're working with grass here and foliage and nature is just crazy fun and wild. So we don't have to be perfect here, right? Right. And you can, you can start pulling up little darker blades of grass in that lighter section too. I mean, we're just... We're just having fun with different greens and different layers, right? And maybe maybe you don't want um, the the three layers of grass. Maybe you just like want one one color, or maybe you're going extra credit style and you're going four layers or more. Totally up to you. Um, painting grass is super fun, and you can just kind of figure out what you like, what works. Right. Again, I can move on to my smaller angled brush and I can maybe do some more detailing. I'm going to grab a little smidgy of black. Let's see. Just, just have fun adding little things here and there. Right. All sorts of little textures and details. Here we go. I don't know guys, I've been I've been painting with acrylics my entire life. And during this um stay at home order, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, like painting videos, and um I don't know, I'm kind of curious about trying oil paints. I've never I don't think I've ever painted with oil paints. 
I feel like I need to get out of my comfort zone and give it a try. Have any of you ever used oil paints before? Ooh, I'm having fun with this painting. This kind of reminds me of, I don't know, maybe like old school Nintendo. It's just like really bright and simple and fun. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go into my dark green in that front layer. Okay. And we are going to continue with making green with our yellow and blue, but we are going to add more smidgy smooches of black. And be careful, a little black will go a long way. Kind of make a nice kind of army green here. Let's see, is that gonna be dark? Ooh, yeah, I kind of like that. I want it to be darker though. Let's try something like that. So same deal guys, kind of going up into, oh, there it is, a nice dark, I like that. Going up with some just quick blades of grass and then we can just fill in, fill in the rest. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited about these flowers next. These are going to be fun. And then we'll we'll do the the bumblebee almost last. So I'm just filling in the bottom here. So those of you who are, who are new, um, I'll be leading another painting this Thursday at 2 p.m., so same time, but on Thursday, and I'll be over at the Jana Marie Foundation page doing one of their wellness breaks. So same deal, I'm, I'll be leading a painting, not this one, a different painting, but I'll be over at the Jana Marie Foundation at 2 o'clock um, on, their, on their page there. Fun. I'm having fun with the texture here. Whoops. All right. See, I don't know if you can tell, but when I'm leading the painting with you guys, I take, I just take my time just so people can, you know, take, uh, if they need to catch up. When I do it myself, I tend to go much faster and I don't, I don't really take the time to work on details, so this is, I'm having fun finding these little details in the grass here. All right, again, repeat. I'm moving on to my smaller flat brush, and I can darken up my green even more and start finding some of these darker blades here and there just yeah just playing with different colors adding black getting darker shades just kind of playing around with different different colors textures it's just you can't go wrong especially when you're painting grass here how about that fun times okay Oh, we're gonna have fun with these flowers. This is super fun, super easy, great to do with the kiddos, with the family. We are going to have fun stamping with the back end of our little paint brushes, right? So um, first and foremost, I'm gonna wipe off the excess paint from these brushes and give them a nice, good, clean rinse. Paper towel, paper towel, where is the paper towel? Here it is. Just wipe 
wiping off all that excess paint from my big brush. I won't need my big brush anymore, really. So I want to make sure that's nice and clean. All right, so now let's have fun with these little um, colorful wildflowers. These are just stamps with the back end of my paintbrushes. So I've got, um, let's see, what did I use for my little one? So here are my little, my little stamps, okay? And then I used um, a larger brush, okay? So any brush that has a rounded end will do nicely. And you can get really tiny dots with, you know, a very gentle touch, hardly any pressure. Once you get like your big brush, you can really give it a good, a good press and you can get a larger, a larger shape. Um, you grow up. I missed it. Did I miss something? Um, oh, I froze. Did I freeze? I hope we're back. Are we okay now? I hope so. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, just going to repeat the, the, the important stuff. The important stuff is we're going to be moving on to these colorful wildflowers, okay? And those are just a little stamp with the back end of a brush. So I'm going to start, I'm going to start with little white flowers, okay? And I kind of just, I like to kind of keep them in uh, groups of at least three so they're not lonely and as I get closer to the the front I want to make those stamps bigger right and the ones in the background are just kind of wee because they're farther away and they're just kind of hanging out all right Did I unfreeze? I hope I unfroze. Oh. The problem with freezing is no one can tell you when you're unfrozen. If you're still frozen. Okay. Um, I'm going to move to yellows now. I'm going to move on to a bigger, a bigger brush to stamp. Don't be afraid to go to go heavy with these stamps here because that paint will will dry darker um, than you think. Duller too even. When it's wet it looks nice and bright but it will dry a bit duller. Ooh, I'm having fun with these. These are so bright. Colorful. Okay, good. All right, so you can just you can just have fun with these dots, you know? These are this is just a super fun go with the flow wherever you want your little flowers to be. And then we'll we'll um go over how to do the the daisies and the black-eyed susans. So for me in the original painting, I kind of keep um, the reds and yellows in the back and the, the blues and purples in the front. Uh, it kind of keeps things cohesive and in order so it's not just craziness. Um, but if you want craziness, go for it. I think we've had enough craziness, in my opinion, in other ways. So I'm just going to try to keep, <laughs> keep my flowers in order. How about that? Now let's Ooh, let's do some red. Let's do some red. Red over here. 
Ooh, and then I'll show you how to make a, a deep, a deep red, almost like a wine. Isn't this fun? This is just a really kind of simple, simple way to get some nice wildflowers. I'm having fun. All right. So if I want a, that deeper red, it's just red with a little smidgy of blue. So I'm just going to kind of mix that. I'm just using the back end of my brush. Okay. And if you've got too much blue, you just add more red and you'll get this nice, deep 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 color get that on the end and add that to our wildflowers Fun, fun, fun. Okay. So then I want to move forward um, and get in some of my blues and purples. Thanks, Ton. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Coming from Radio's Don Bedell, I'll take that as a major compliment. All right. So now I've got into my blue. I'm going to start putting these blue guys down. I like to keep them in groups again. You can have them all spread out. It's whatever you want. And then I want to make some more of that kind of purpley color, which is just more blue and red. Ooh. Ooh, I need more red for sure in there. I hope we're having fun. This is just super fun. No stress. No stress flowers, right? Cool. All right. So if you're catching up there, that's fine. I'm going to go on and show you how to do um, a daisy. Okay. Um, these are really simple. I'm going to go and if you if you have a, a, a flat angled brush, a small one like this, this will make your life super easy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white on the back end of my brush handle and smudge it in with some yellow. And the white is going to help the yellow show up on the, on the green. And I'm going to add little... Um, centers of a daisy with the back end of my brush. They're kind of like ovals. So let me just bring that up close. So again, it's just the back of my brush and I'm making like a little oval shape and that's the center, going to be the center of our daisy. All right. And I'm going to add, I'm going to add three more guys over here. Hang out with these folks. So here, 
Here's our center for our daisies. Might want to get some more yellow on there. Oh boy, there you go. Knock right into the camera. Here we go. All right. So I got my centers, my daisy centers. I always forget the name of that word, the technical flower term. Okay. And then with the very tips of the brus the bristles of this little brush here so just the just the tippity tips i can start to just kind of stamp on some petals easy peasy lemon squeezy right And in the original, I didn't even add um, stems because I just kind of figured they'd blend in with the grass. But if you want to add a daisy stem, you can. Over here, adding those just little petals. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And those petals are gonna dry and we can give those another coat of white um, or if you're like me you can't wait you just do it again right away cool isn't this fun this is a fun one hmm all right um, while I'm here yes I will do this I will do this while I'm here with my white, I'm gonna go into my sun again and give it a nice clean coat of white. Really work out that circle. Again, if you blinked, sorry, I moved. I got my daisies down and I'm taking advantage of that white that's on my brush and I'm gonna hit up my, my sun. And with that white, I'm just really gonna work out any um, smudges and I'm gonna make that circle as best I can and then with the smidgiest smooch of yellow grab a little smidgy smooch of yellow and I'm just gonna smudge that into the white and then we get that glow isn't that nice just a tiny tiny bit of that yellow with that white and then you can kind of take out go outwards with that glow if you want you can go out as far as you want really how's that isn't that fun it looks, I'll tell you, it looks a lot better in the video <laughs> than in real life. The video really emphasizes how it's kind of glowing now. Um, so thank you, technology, for doing that. Awesome. What is this? What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, so if you, if you blinked, again, I did those, those daisies. I used the back end of my brush with white and yellow and kind of dabbed in the center part of those daisies. And then with the tippity tips of that little brush, you just kind of stamp those petals, right? Easy. No stress daisies. some black eyed Susans. So we're going to need to make the center parts of those black eyed Susans. And guess what? It's mostly black. Okay. So I'm just going to take the back end of my brush in here. I might want to kind of soften it up with some purple or red, but it's mostly, mostly just black. All right. So let's Let's give our black eyed Susans a home. Oh, I don't know, right here. And I just have two in mine. You might have more in yours. And then again with my little brush here, 
grab some white and yellow to make it show up. I'm going to stamp on my Black Eyed Susan petals. Something like that. I want to make that center bigger. How about them apples? How we doing, folks? These are going to be pretty. I can't wait to see these. So yeah, please share your photos. Put them in the comments whenever you get a chance. Even if you do it later, um, show, em show those paintings off. I love it. All right. We have wildflowers, a nice field of wildflowers. Now we get to do our bumblebee. I love it. Okay. So, ooh, excuse me, to prep for my bumblebee. And if you're still working on the flowers, that's totally fine. I'm just going to hold this up closer to the camera so as a base my bumblebee is like a an egg shape i'm gonna prep him in just some white paint that's gonna help my yellow come through more i'm gonna wipe that excess white paint off and now we're, we're kind of just spreading paint on top of paint kind of like we're icing a cake so I'm going to grab some, some yellow with that brush and I'm going to spread that yellow icing on top of that white icing. So we're just placing paint on top of paint. It's also going to kind of help give this guy a, a 3D lift. He's kind of hanging out, a little extra raised acrylic paint there. Okay. And then I can wipe off that paint. I can actually clean my brush. Oh, where'd the comments go? Oh, I can't see you. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know what I did with the comments. I pressed something. Hello? I'll just type hello. Maybe the comments will come up. Yeah. Okay, good. I just didn't like that I couldn't see the, the comment reel. <laughs> so now you get a random hello from me. Okay. Um, so I cleaned that brush. And now I'm going to go to my liner brush. So a wee brush. Oh, and that's too wee. No, 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 that's fine. That is the brush I want. Okay, so if you don't have a wee brush, you might want to let that dry, and then you can use a Sharpie later. Um, if, you, if you don't have a liner brush, a really easy cheat is if you have a brush um, that you don't mind cutting, like this brush, this brush has like 10 hairs left in it because I cut it because I really wanted a liner brush that was finer than anything I could uh, I could find and well cheaper really I didn't feel like paying big bucks for a liner brush but this was just a regular old paintbrush and I and I took a razor and I cut I cut off bristles until I got the number of bristles that I wanted and this is like my super super fine um, uh, handmade well reduce reuse recycled uh, liner brush um, but I'm going to use this other liner brush and I'm going to bring this up closer so you can see I'm going to give this bumblebee his stripes he's earned his stripes and again we're just kind of um, uh, icing a cake so just laying laying um, paint on top of paint we're not like uh, smushing or, or rubbing very hard. Let's 
let's give this some more clear lines here. There we go. And then I can give him a little stinger on his butt. And I can give him a head. Woo! Give him a wee little head on top in the front. I'll give him some, I almost said antlers, antennae. And a couple of wings. And then in those wings, I can fill in with some white. And I don't even mind if it gets a little gray because that's kind of fun. Here's our little bumblebee. Hello, little bumblebee. All right. We did it. We've got some happy, colorful flowers on this Tuesday afternoon. I'm looking behind me, and it looks like the sun is trying to come out, at least where I am in State College, PA. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are hanging in there, hanging out at home getting your French homework done, getting all your work done. And I hope you had some fun and got a little joy and color in your day painting along with me. It's always a pleasure. I look forward to this um, on my Tuesdays and Thursdays. Again, on Thursday, I will be at the Jana Marie Foundation Facebook page. Um, you can find their name somewhere on my Facebook page as well on Paint with Jackie. Um, so yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me again. Post those pictures. I love seeing the photos of you guys' finished products. This video will be available on the video section of the Paint with Jackie page, though these live videos automatically save there. And also by the end of the day, I will have it saved on my YouTube playlist. I'll, I'll share the playlist link in the comments. You can give it to friends who don't have Facebook. This particular painting won't be there yet but it will be there by the end of the day. Guys, thank you so much. This was a fun one. This really, this really brightened my day, these, these flowers. All right. Be well. I'll see you guys on Thursday. This is Jackie from Paint with Jackie, and I'll see you next time.